This video is going to be an overview of the Make Block Kit that we got from Radio Shack. Uh, here's the Make Block Kit in front of you. Uh, and I'm going to open it up, go over some of the pieces, sort of do an unpacking thing so they can get familiar with the pieces and what we're going to do with the high school students. So you open up the Make Block Kit. Uh, there may be a piece of tape down here. Uh, that you might have to uh, undo if it hasn't been opened before. They all should have a number on them. This one's box number five, as you can see right there. Okay, open it up. When you open it up, uh, you'll see this. Uh, please keep all the pieces together. And what you want to do is make sure uh, that all the pieces go back in the same form because a lot of people have to use this, and the neater we keep them, the better we are. Make sure also that you tie all cables uh, back up when you get finished with them. So it has this little foam piece on it, uh, so you might want to have the students to neatly put that over to the side when we're working. Uh, when you look at it, uh, there's the main make blot in the middle. Uh, it's uh, on the back. This is the Orion uh, processor. on um, Arduino is it's the Arduino Uno. It's the same sort. Arduino Uno. You notice there are color codes here, and the color codes sort of match the color codes on these components. And so you can click, uh, it has like telephone jacks on the end here, R45 connectors, telephone jacks on the end here, uh, and switches and power and a button here. Um, and other connectors here. So we'll be using uh, just the basic ones first, these uh, telephone jack type cables. And so that's the basic board. Uh, there are various sensors and actuators, so I'll just sort of go around the horn here and, um, and show them to you. This is a potentiometer. Uh, you can control resistance here, uh, most common used in volume and things like that. So we'll be using this as an analog sensor. Uh, Another analog sensor here. Uh, this one is, let me make sure I get this right. This is the sound sensor. So there's a little microphone there, and uh, it measures the intensity of sound. Uh, once again, you use this to plug it in to the any one of these boards, any, uh, any jack on this board that has a black square. Uh, uh, the next one up is and it's written on the bottom here what these are, so I'm just I'm just checking it out. Uh, this is uh, a light and grayscale sensor, so there's a photo sensor on the back here, which will detect uh, whether it's light or dark. Once again, these go on any jack, any uh, connector that's black here. Uh, the next one up is, this is a motion sensor. Oh, no, sorry, this is not motion sensor. This is the... Um, seven segment display sometimes you have to turn them over to see what, what's going on this is the seven segment display there are actually four seven segment displays on this one and so we'll use that to display so this is an output uh, device a digital output device you can see they got blue here so it go to these blue ones here this one is an ultrasound sensor uh, analog sensor so it's yellow uh, and this one will detect distance here through ultrasonic uh, so by going back and forth, um, I think it has a 30 degree uh, sensing range there, and it goes anywhere from, uh, I think, a few millimeters all the way up to 400 millimeters. So uh, that's this one. Uh, this is a joystick. Uh, so it's a joystick. Uh, you get X and Y off of this one. Um, so that one goes to the black ones. Uh, this one here, which we haven't taken out of the bag yet, uh, is this is your Bluetooth module and we'll get to that last we probably won't get to this until spring semester but uh, we'll get to that last so that allow you to hook Bluetooth and the phone up to that so they can get very interesting has interesting projects there uh, this one is a motion sensor so it will sense motion in the room uh, so that's very nice use it for alarms or something like that uh, this one here is an RGB, you have four RGB red, green, and blue LED diodes here. You can change the color of, that's nice. And this one is, I believe, is a universal piece that we can hook various cables up to here. Uh, and so we won't be using this on the first run. Uh, if we use this, it would be uh, a lot later once the students get used to using everything. So this one's sort of a variable piece uh, that we may get to later. Okay, so the, your, most of your components are up here. Uh, this tray lists out, and you can take that and put it over to the side. And then you have other components. You got your uh, USB cable here. Uh, you can see I think this is a USB micro. Uh, so that's a micro jack there. Uh, so unlike other Arduino boards, we have the big, what I call the printer cable. 
uh, plug in. Now this USB is a micro, so that's one cable. Keep in mind, notice it has a twisty on it, so when you put it back, uh, or when you ask the students to use it, have them come on twist it, use it, and then twist it back just as you see it, and place it back into the box. We want these kits to be kept very neat. Uh, there are uh, various size, uh, these are called R45 jacks or regular phone cable jacks, and they're of various lengths. And I think you have, let's see, there's two here. Uh, this is one. This is one long one. There's a short one, and then you've got four medium sized ones here. So uh, let's make sure we get the inventory back in. Uh, this, this is a reusable Ziploc, so I expect these to be kept in the Ziploc. Uh, this is a battery supply. Uh, that we can use on various projects. This whole six uh, looks like uh, AAA batteries or AA batteries. Uh, so you can put those in there and get some power that way. Uh, here, and this one is, and we'll probably have to do some assemblage so we won't, uh, or some assembly, we won't get into this uh, soon, but this is a servo motor uh, which will hook up and they'll be able to see some motion there. Um, this here is actually a DC motor with a fan attachment uh, that we can use um, to uh, create some interesting projects with that. So that's a DC motor with a fan attachment. Okay, and those are all the components. Inside here, which I, I was really excited when we first got this because it has um, in its own right curriculum. So these are cards and each one of these cards talks about and has an exercise with each component so the students can learn each component first uh, and so that's uh, one phase and then um, there is a uh, it says 10 fun cases and these are projects that you build using multiple so this one is you, they take the distance sensor and they hook up the LED display and you can see how far something is away it will show the distance on the LED display and so they have 10 projects in here so uh, and then of course they have the inventory and they talk about the kit and how to use it with Arduino and with Scratch and various other uh, programming languages and then there's a, another piece of paper that I think is uh, more shipping and warranty so all of this needs to be kept in the kit uh, and so please do so, and so you just pack it up like so. Make sure you put all the cables back in there. You should have all of your medium, your four medium size R45 cables, your short one and your long one, your uh, two long ones, the battery case. Uh, oh, there's also, I'm sorry, I forgot something. There's a, this is a, a temperature sensor, which we'll be using as well. Uh, and so, uh, so all that should go in there. And then you take your plastic tray, put that back on the top, so it should all slide down in there very nicely. Uh, you notice you'll probably have to put it and arrange it like I had at cables and case on the left uh, with all the other stuff in their bags on the right. And then you slip this back in here, goes down, take your piece of foam and close it up. And there you go. That's your uh, make block uh, kit. And in the next video, we'll actually start talking about programming some stuff. So there we go.